Green is the color of nature. It's the color of grass, trees, of politics, and of a way of life. Green is everywhere. In the supermarkets, hardware stores, and in major industries, and in manufacturing. For some, green is the color of self-identity, health, and well-being. And for others, green is simply the color of money. It's not easy being green. Kermit the Frog felt this way, at least until he discovered the hybrid. Most people argue that going green is just a fad, a cultural phenomenon that thrives in an environment where people can easily afford to be trendy. And going green was trendy. It's gonna save me money and make me look smart. There's an early belief that in a plunging economy, going green would inevitably be forced to die out. People's focus would be drawn to more pressing matters and people would turn to thrift. It is in this search for thrift that industry found its niche. They capitalized on the green mindset of the culture, combined green with thrift, and new doors were suddenly open for product development, sales, and service. This idea of industry taking on the face of green development is known as greenwashing. It implies that the company offering a green service or product really does not care about the environment. Rather, they are merely doing so to drive and gain approval in the public eye. A good example of this involves the recent disaster in the Gulf. In an early effort of greenwashing, BP changed their logo from a shield to a flower, offering it up at face value as a company that cares about the environment. Now in a new effort, BP is taking another swing. After all, as this flyer shows, who can begrudge a corporation who is trying to look to the future and offer an environmentally friendly alternative to their own product? Lowe's is a leading retailer for energy efficient household appliances. The line of Energy Star rated appliances presents with a sleek design and a message that we too can do our part in saving the earth through our daily routine. Basically, the Energy Star has a lot more features, larger capacity, um, more customization. They're very intelligent machines, they're more user friendly. So that's why more people are going more for that, to save money on the electricity and water and also the features that are available on the Energy Star appliances. But is this really the case? Does the $15 a year savings really make that much of an effect on the environment and our wallets? Most consumers will recognize the fact that they're going to save money on the utilities. They also recognize that it takes a long time to recoup the, the price difference of the uh, Energy Star plants because it's usually twice as much when you buy it. Toyota is another corporation synonymous with eco-friendly machines. The Prius has become the poster child of hybrid cars. The Prius over and above you know, our com competitors, we've been able to literally crush them in, in any, every aspect of, of the vehicle. And knowing why, I think it's really back to where it's Toyota and we've made such a good, strong product for such a long time that that's what's really created that buzz on that vehicle because people know that, hey, you know, that's the car to get. The purchase of a Prius offers a much quicker return both financially and environmentally. Most people are a little bit more prone to themselves and they want what's going to do it for me and where they're going to get it is in, in the savings of fuel. Because you can put, you know, fill the tank up and drive from here to, you know, LA without filling up. However, Toyota still relies heavily on the go green attitude to drive sales, which could bring question to the overall focus of their industry. Prius without a doubt outsells based on that people know that you have a green car, and I think a lot of people want to know that, hey, I'm driving a vehicle that is a hybrid, I'm trying to, you know, do better for the environment, I'm trying to save, you know, um, gas, I'm doing all those kind of levels for, you know, for the world or government or whatever they're trying to do for. For 2011, the Ford Motor Company has a revolutionary idea for their vehicle lineup, the new V6 Mustang. This is a truly high performance vehicle, rated over 300 horsepower and running 0 to 60 in under 5.1 seconds. It also gets over 30 miles a gallon. It does not stress the same green aspects to drive sales, leading us to believe that Ford is perhaps seeking efficiency for more pure, less market driven reasons. Now while true environmentalists will scorn the idea of greenwashing, the real question is does it matter? If the end result is a green society, what's the difference if the industry is driven by a desire to make money or be cool or fit in? If we leave the big business aspect of the goods and service industry, it is easier to find a much more wholesome green product movement. Eco Reno and the Sleep Shop offer their patrons everything they need to lead a greener life. We sell uh, non-toxic household cleaners and personal products. Um, and, um, you know, soy candles versus a paraffin wax candle. Um, biodegradable bags, um, reusable lunch sacks. We all have our little niches in the, this green community, and so we're trying to become more active as a whole community so that we can share information. Even if it's buying recycled toilet paper, you know, instead of 
regular toilet paper that you've been buying for years. Um, just small changes do add up and they will make a big difference if everybody's doing them. All things aside, even mom and pop shops such as this rely on a green driven culture to bring in business. We're across from Rapscallion Restaurant before and um, it just wasn't our demographic. I couldn't drag those people in kicking and screaming. They're not green. It's so fascinating to me. People who are trying different types of foods, maybe a little different lifestyle choices, and uh, we just fit right in. Now, whatever the motive or desire might be, it is clear that industry has gone green. We see it in products, services, manufacturing, and innovation. Whether it is here to stay is not for certain. Elements of the movement are bound to forever be present. When the next big thing comes to drive the market and the desire to save money by saving resources is gone, will images like this be replaced by images like these?